video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the newest film from Pixar and that is Lightyear. So this just came out the past weekend. I caught it on Wednesday. So let's finally share with you my thoughts on the film. So basically we are watching the movie that Andy watched in 1995 and fell in love with and bought the toy. So this is that movie. And I have overall positive things to say about it. I do have a few negatives, but overall positives. So for my score and rating, I'm going to give this film, I said a three and a half on my review. I'm going to go three and a half. I'm going to go three and a half. And for a letter, I'm going to go B. I'm going to go B. So yeah, not quite a B plus, but a B. Pretty good. Okay, so we start out with... Um, we have Buzz, who is obviously being voiced by Chris Evans with his best friend, um, Alicia Hawthorne, and they get stuck on this planet, and then they try and get off, and then we have a twist that this film is actually going to be involving time travel, which I really like that this film involved time travel. I didn't know that going in, and they keep doing these tests, and eventually we see the life of Alicia that Buzz doesn't get to be there for, and kind of the way that impacts him is really interesting. Also... Alicia and um, another character shared a kiss and that was the first same-sex kiss in a Pixar film which was really cool and like because I was moaning about it it was a it was barely like one second maybe like not even that like, sad to see her life being played out because Buzz never got to be there for it and she left a message for Buzz and it actually made me cry like we're gonna talk about cryability later but that did make me cry now then he goes into the future again and we meet the new crew so i really like the new crew obviously we have izzy hawthorne who is the granddaughter of alicia hawthorne and like i really liked the connection between buzz and izzy and okay zerg so the twist with zerg in this film i'm not going to talk about it it's different to the i am your father twist in toy story 2 I don't know which one I like more. I probably like the I'm Your Father twist more. I think that the animation in this film is absolutely incredible. Like, it looks so realistic. In my Turning Red review, I said that looked realistic. This, the way it honestly looks live action. The way, like, how far we've come from the original Toy Story film to now. In, like, not that long is absolutely incredible. Also, this film feels like you're... It feels like you're watching a Star Wars film. If you go and see this film, you will know what I mean. Because it really, really does... It feels like a Star Wars film. From the jokes, which some of them don't quite land, but it's fine. From the sets, and it just... It really... There are even certain things which look pretty much exactly like different things from Star Wars. And I love that. And I, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not complaining. I love that this film looks like a Star Wars film. I absolutely love it. And for the ending, I don't want to talk about the ending too, too much. But I thought the ending was really nice. The fact that, again, don't want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it anyway. I don't really care. The ending of them all going off together. And the fact that Buzz has to battle the idea that they don't really go. And it just... And the battle between Buzz and I'm going to, Zorg was really was all right it was all right i kind of i felt like for me it, it did fall apart in the start of the third act a little bit but it did regain it by the end and i thought that was good good there was a little it was kind of like towards the end of the second act and the start of the third act there was kind of about 15 maybe 20 minutes where it just kind of fell apart a little bit for me but i had a really good time seeing this i i saw this with my friends i saw this with my two best friends and we were to see it that day. We were the only people in the theatre because we got a like really late booking. Like they just added one a few hours before we booked it and then um, we saw it. So overall, I really enjoyed Light Yeah. I thought it was a lot of fun and I will obviously be tuning into the next Pixar film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below what your thoughts on Light Yeah. I'm gonna have a ranking of the entirety of the Toy Story franchise out tomorrow, I hope. If I can get up in time. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like about Pixar, if you like talking about movies, if you like talking about TV shows, and also if you like talking about Star Wars, definitely subscribe to my channel. We are trying to hit 500 subscribers. I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye.